Hello everybody, we're back on Preprod Horses Test Server to take a look at the Great Challenge. Ordinarily, I wouldn't really bother looking at the Great Challenge because this is an event that we've had all too often lately. Personally, I'm quite burned out by the Great Challenge and objectives in general. We have the two daily objectives every day and then we've been bombarded with quite a few events that have objectives. The Great Challenge, this ended just last month. I think the last one that we had was at the end of August and then it ended in early September. September. But I did want to take a look at this edition because it has been changed. There have been some updates to it, which I think in a way it's a lot better, at least for me and how I would rather do these objectives. So we're going to take a look at the instructions for this updated Great Challenge. I'll show you the objectives, how it works, and we'll talk a little bit about the festivities for the Great Challenge, which unfortunately it's not the lottery. So let's first take a look at the instructions and then we'll see how it works. So the principle is that every time a threshold is reached, everybody will get extra UFOs to use in the battle, which is a snow battle, also known as a UFO fight. If you, any of you participated in the last battle UFO fight that we had, it's, this one sounds like it's going to be very similar just based on the information I've read on the test server form. When you catch a UFO, it will have some various random item and you can either send that item away to another player and you will gain points for the UFO ranking and hopefully when the event is over you'll be in line to get a really nice prize or you could keep that item and lose points in the ranking or you could pay Equus to actually get another UFO that contains either an item that could give you more points or it could be worth less points. Obviously the festivities, the snow battle, it hasn't started yet so I can't give you any other information on it. Hopefully once that starts I'll have some time that we can take a look at it that way for those of you that haven't participated in the one of the more newer updated uh, UFO battles, you know, we can take a look at that. And then the next information is the gifts and perks for the festivities. You have to complete objectives every day to collect horseshoes. You can win prizes and obtain perks for the festivities, which includes promotional offers for the Titans Challenge, which is basically fragment boosts. And you can also get bonuses for the snow battle by completing an extra objective. You can only access this extra objective once you reach the number of total daily horseshoes. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit. The jackpot is a new Japanese divine horse called Fuji. He's won as a jackpot in the snow battle, or you could also open up Titan's challenges to win him that way. If you're a VIP, you can immediately start opening up Titan's challenges to get fragments for him during the great challenge. Or if if you're not a VIP, you'll have to wait until the snow battle starts. Before we look at the rest of the Great Challenge, let's look at what his perk is. He is a Japanese divine horse, so how these horses work is that every day when they wake up, you get a um, selection of UFO cards. You just click on one of those, and then it will reveal your prize. If you're really lucky, this horse will give you his jackpot prize, which is a piece of cloud. If you're unlucky, he'll just give you another smaller prize. Uh, from the other Japanese divines that we've had, it's usually a tack item mash, carrot, something like that, but it is at least a prize. So that's the new Japanese Divine Horse, and then we have the Golden Horseshoe information. So how does this new Great Challenge work, and what are the total number of daily horseshoes? It's not explicitly stated anywhere, but the total number you can get every day is 100, which is noted right here on this little wine cart or wagon that we have. So you want to try to get 100 horseshoes every day, and thankfully it is actually quite easy. These are the objectives that we have, and so far we've been testing this event for about a week now now, the objectives have not changed. It might seem a bit boring that you have the same objectives every day, but there are several of these that, well, really only a couple of these that I really like, such as Enter a Horse in the Grand Prix. What is great about these objectives, you can do any of these that you want. You can do a combination of these, or you can just repeat the same one multiple times. Like for the Enter a Horse in the Grand Prix, if you have the Grand Prix bonus that lets you enter up to four horses per discipline, that's eight horses total per day, that's 80 horseshoes right there. Of course, you won't be able to do this on the weekend because the Grand Prix doesn't run then, but on the weekday, that's 80 horseshoes right there, and that's something that I do every day anyway. Retrieve a product from the workshop. You can get 10 horseshoes for that. So what items, you know, plan your items that you want to put in the workshop so that you can make sure that you're collecting items 
every day to get 10 horseshoes for that. You can remove a unicorn's horn for 50 horseshoes, but I'm not going to do that. You can remove a pegasus wings for 35 horseshoes, something else I'm not going to do. You can give a horse to owl for 25 horseshoes and then retrieve a product from the workshop for 10, enter a horse in the Grand Prix also for 10. You can fully equip a horse that was never fully equipped before for five horseshoes, enter a competition for one horseshoe. If you wanted to do this one multiple times, you'd have to do it a hundred times. So have fun with that. Take a ride on the beach for two horseshoes or purchase a horse in the sale for five horseshoes. Like I said, either do a combination of these or do the same one multiple times multiple times, whatever floats your boat. What I'm going to do right now, let's go ahead and complete some of these. I'm, it is a weekday, so I'm just gonna enter eight horses into the Grand Prix. I'm going to retrieve a product from the workshop because that will take care of that. Actually, I can't do that. Now, this is on the test server, and for some reason, we're able to immediately collect items from the workshop once we start crafting them. So this is not gonna be a new feature. This is just something that for some reason we can do on the test server. So I'm just gonna put this in and watch. It'll it'll be ready in like a second. So it's nice for testing purposes, but yeah, this, this isn't a new change. This is just something that for some reason we're able to do on the test server. So there is that objective completed. Now, if we watch, it says I've completed it two times. And if we look at my mine cart, it now shows that I have 20 horseshoes out of a hundred total. And this information down here, the wagon will leave automatically at you know, the time stated. So you want to make sure that you get all of your horseshoes in by then. Now let's go and enter horses into the Grand Prix so that we can get that taken care of. And the test server tends to operate just a little bit slowly. I don't know why I put that horse to bed. So this might lag just a little bit, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So there's one horse. Here is my second horse. My third horse is going to be entered. So that's 30 horseshoes, here's 40, on top of the 20 that I already had, of course. And then here's another one that we're going to enter to get some more horseshoes. I quite like this objective because like I said, this is, this is a very practical objective because it's something that I do every day. The only horses I tend to buy in the sales are retired coats or horses for crossbreeding projects, or if it's an objective and it requires me to buy a horse. So that's not really something that I do all that often. So I collected all of my horseshoes, now says 100 out of 100. All of these objectives are grayed out. I can't, can't do anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and just send the wagon off manually and you're going to see all of this information update. I now get a fragment boost here at the bottom and I now have 600 horseshoes total out of 725 and I've unlocked the promotional offer of four times more Fuji fragments in the Titans challenges. And once you get your horseshoes collected for the day, then one of these objectives will highlight and that will give you your bonus for the battle. This is just a random objective. You don't get to pick which objective to do to get your bonus. And unfortunately, there's currently no way for us to skip the objective either by donating a black market item to Al or by asking for help. So if you get stuck with the remove a unicorn's horn, I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> also, I believe from what I from what I recall, the number of bonuses that you get is determined by the objective that you have, because I'm pretty sure that when I gave a horse to Al the other day, I got about two bonuses for that. So that is a bit unfortunate that the the bonuses aren't the same. So if you're kind of lucky in getting one of these easier objectives, you're unlucky in that you're not going to get as many bonuses as somebody who has to do one of these harder ones. So let's take a ride on the beach. These are the, the number of bonuses that I have and those won't be used until the snow battle. So I have to take a ride on the beach. I need a horse that's at least five years old, which this one should work for that. So I'm going to do a 30 minute ride and that will complete the objective. There we go. Um, it doesn't actually say that you completed it. It just says, congratulations, come back tomorrow, but it's no longer highlighted. So I know that I did it and the number of my bonuses went up. If you're curious about what the prizes are for the great challenge, I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same as they've been for most of the other great challenges that we have. The We've got the 55 aging points, Medusa's blood, that's normally in there. A timer's in there. Harmony pack, which is pretty much the only reason why I like the great challenge because of that harmony pack. And it's pretty easy to get all of these items, you know, just make sure that you log in every day to get all of your horseshoes and, you know, you can get the items, no problem. Down here at the bottom, this is just the community objective. And if we do reach 
you know, whatever level that determines the number of UFOs we get during the event. So we've got level four reached on the test server, which means we get four UFOs every eight hours for the snow battle. So this is definitely something that we want to try to participate in. Because the more UFOs we can get during the event, the better. So that's it for the great challenge. If you have any questions for me, please do let me know and I will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye.